I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean it's gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed. What about me? Huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you. I take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> Come fishing out in the bayou? I don't know what the hell I got going Catfish. on, man. What about the cars? One of them's Pagani's, and the other hey, looks Deli. about as expensive. Got a bunch of meatheads watching over. Ain't your people? I know a guy I can fence him. Takes 15%. Yo, 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 what? What about the cars? I know a guy I can fence him. Takes 15%. Sack of shit down. <laughs> Grab a cover, boy. Ah. The hell is right fucking here. You So anyway, the guy challenges Frank to a race for pink slips, but the asshole turns pussy, doesn't show. And that's his car?
That shit's all him. Let's Shouldn't go. Have come here. Take shit. Grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Did this asshole just expire? Looks like the place. Looks like I missed out on the best times. The Golden Age. Don't fool yourself. Golden Age still got a lot of folks. Whatever yeah. that was, one it's gotta way be close. or another. I never did anything to you. Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. 
I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw, Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. Had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. Uh. I've spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Motherfucker, you look like the cat who ate the canary. This is our first step towards breaking the cops and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. You're gonna hear a lot of croaking about why someone should get this turf. But you asking me to lock down both rockets for you says all that needs to be said. Don't doubt yourself now, son. I ain't about to beg you for turf. You know what I bring to the table, you would have never called me to it in the first place. So do what you gonna do so I can go on with my fucking day. I think what my two friends here are trying to say is, calling and help to lock down rackets sets a certain level of expectation. You might want to keep that in mind next time, kid. We got a lot of fragile egos here. Just make it official already. There's only one smart play here, partner. You need to show me you serious about working together. So far, I ain't seen shit. You and me, we have an understanding, right? What's the word, Lincoln? I trust you to make the right choice. This one's all you, Bert. Can't wait to get started on her, on everyone that comes after her as well. That's the way you see it, fine. But I'll be looking for the next district to come my way. Y'all can sit out the next one, cause I'll be damned if it ain't coming to me. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah. Okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The 90. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. 
Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates.